we now look at ways to put our content out there because we can't count on people coming to our homepage. Uh, and if Google gets better, both Google, Microsoft, Yahoo, they're all working on algorithms to do a better job of doing my news in the morning. They have it now, but it doesn't work very well. But if they find a killer al algorithm that really can predict what you want, nobody will come to our homepage. Um, it will only be to the degree that we can uh, get through that filter. The White House has caught on to this, and uh, they are, uh, uh, George W. Bush used the term, uh, the filter. You know, when you would do a local, an interview with a local paper, the St. Pete Times, or when you do an interview uh, with the Minneapolis TV station, you would talk about it as going around the filter. And it was a start, but that now seems very quaint. So now the way the White House goes around the filter is they break news themselves. When they were going to announce a bunch of budget cuts, they put it on the White House blog. They put it there on a Saturday, so there would be in the Sunday papers, drive conversations on the Sunday uh, shows beyond um, Radio Monday. And if we hit, hit David and I wanted to write about it, that was fine. But it was circulating. They were able to circulate the content just the way they wanted to. Rather than go on NewYorkTimes.com and do a chat, they put their people out on Facebook to do chats on Facebook. Rather than depend on our clips of presidential events, they have their own editing suite. They have what they call the iPod concept. And they know that nobody's going to go on and watch the whole State of the Union. But now you can go on whitehouse.gov and you can get the Iraq part, you can get the jobs part, you can get the clean energy part, and then they track how people watch those different pieces and uh, use that to the next time so that they can uh, slice and dice it uh, even more effectively. Uh, rather than invite ESPN in to do uh, a video, they had a NASCAR driver and car come onto the South Lawn. The White House made its own videos of that, and they gave it as an exclusive to ESPN. So they had complete control of what the president was doing, what the president was saying, but it was an exclusive video to ESPN, which of course played it up. Same thing with their Flickr feed. There's many, 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 and, and this is... Uh, the news organizations are really fighting back against this particular one, and you will see this uh, play out. But there's many situations where in the past they would have invited the pool photographers in, where now they just have a propaganda photographer, the White House photographer, takes it and they put it on Flickr, and they say, if you guys want to pick it up, you're welcome to. The Washington Post, when they did a big 100 days uh, story about the president, uh, front page of the Sunday paper, there's a big dominant photo of the president um, sort of uh, in, in uh, profile and, and silhouette, uh, looking uh, thoughtfully, sternly, um, uh, uh, in a manly way, outside the window, right behind the Oval Office desk. And in the past, that would have been taken by a Washington Post reporter. It was a handout photo. It was a White House um, photo. So they find that uh, by putting the content out there themselves, like they need is less than ever.